Hi there, I've been asked to uh, talk for a few minutes about uh, 3D design as a year 9 um, option going into year 10. Um, so I thought I'd start by actually talking about what it is, uh, what it entails. So um, I came up with this little mind map thinking of all the things it's made up of. So on one side of it, it does have the art element. So it's actually being artistic, being able to draw. Um, if you're not the best drawer, then there are skills that we will learn at the start of the year or start of the course. That's how you get up to a certain level, especially with uh, 2D drawing and three, more importantly, 3D drawing. Um, we need you to be creative, uh, be pro uh, practical uh, problem solvers. You'd have to research and look at different designers and movements and artists. Uh, you'd have to be accurate. Um, you'd have to be able to use or look at um, work to inspire you. Um, it's all about practical as well. So there'd be practical making skills that are needed. Team work is needed. Uh, the understanding of computer aided design and computer aided manufacture, working with different materials, uh, being able to work safely, um, understanding sustainability and sustainable products, and also understanding a lot more about um, materials, not only how to work with them, but how to finish them, what materials go well with each other. And there'll also be a lot of um, skills and knowledge in terms of using hand tools and machine tools. So that's it in a nutshell. The next slide is the best way to describe uh, 3D design. So it's one of those things, it's quite tricky really, but um, I'm going to try. On one side of it, it does have a very art-based element in terms of you will look at art movements, particular artists, and particular pieces of work. Uh, so looking into designers and design movements, uh, you do research on it, you pick out bits that you like, you would point out bits that you'd like, and you'd see what kind of things inspire you, and you would bring them into your drawings. So the other element of it is the sketching skills, computer aided drawing skills, and as well as the understanding of tools, materials and practical skills. So this is where it does differentiate from art. So a lot of the artwork, if you would choose art, you would look at artists, but then you would be uh, working with different media in terms of using pastels, charcoals, paints, pencils, or maybe a bit of modelling. With this, we are and we have the full access to the workshop and all the tools that are within the workshop. As well as that, um, we are developing all the time our skills and knowledge with uh, the uh, laser cutter and the recently acquired 3D printer. So we'll be bringing all those things together. So it's bringing in those skills, knowledge of an understanding of materials, uh, understanding of the new uh, processes and uh, machinery that we have. And the outcome is... Um, a 3D product that you design or make. Okay, so instead of hand drawn things that or painted, you would actually make a 3D object, and that's why it's called 3D design. So you'll be using woods or plastics, different metals, to produce something in the style that you want to design it in. So we will look at artists and we will guide you to, for the first year, but when it comes to year 11, that's where you pick your favourite, almost like your favourite um, subject within that to develop even further. So you, you do even more designing, making in those kind of things. So the best way to describe it is a mashup between art and resistant materials. So you're gonna get the knowledge of an understanding of all the tools and how to use them safely. And more importantly at GCSE to use them independently. And that's a really good factor. Once you start, know how to use those tools and can work independently, then it, should, it gives you that opportunity, that freedom to to really express yourself in, in a really creative way. So the course details then, there is no written exam, okay? This is the same as the art where you would do a final piece or a final display at the end of the uh, at the end of year 11. So just like if you've been to school or you've got uh, brothers or sisters that have done art in the past where you'd go and see the art exhibition, you would be part of the art exhibition but your products would be standing up. They will be 3D models as well as drawings as well. OK, so coursework is 60 percent. So that is is that. And then the final exam is not an exam. It's where you'll be set a challenge and you'll be asked again to just to do almost like a smaller version of your coursework where you are producing um, a model and drawings and uh, maybe various models based on a theme that is set by the exam board. The course is aimed at being open and creative as well as gaining inspiration from artists, design movements, iconic products and even designers. 
It's suitable for creatively vocational students interested in freehand drawing, CAD and developing designs. There's lots of scope for hands-on on learning, so um, there is definite opportunities for using the tools, hand tools, machine tools and the different materials that the school has in terms of uh, the stock in the workshop. Materials and processes uh, will be guided through the designs and the research. So what we will do in the first year, we'll do three different subjects or three different um, mini projects where you will be introduced to different tools and different processes. And then those skills will build over that year um, for year 11 when you actually choose your subject or you, the, the, the area that you want to focus on to actually really focus in on your final piece. It's the opportunity to build a range of skills that will benefit those that consider sixth form and also people going on to to college as well in terms of being able to use CAD and uh, using uh, presentation skills such as using PowerPoint to produce some really nice um, presentations. The chance to develop freehand sketching uh, CAD skills and presentation techniques um, and I'll talk about this as we go along further so I've got a couple of examples of where we can use CAD to present some ideas in an innovative and interesting way. You'll also gain knowledge of material processes as well as learning the best way to cut, manipulate and assemble. So what we're talking about there is um, not just looking at uh, the materials but actually thinking about the best way to use them, um, the processes and the tools that are best used, how to put them together, how to treat them um, in terms of applying a finish, uh, paints, blues, um, varnishes, etc. So let's just look at some examples. So at the moment, the Year 10s, they are uh, working on, on what they have researched is some pop artists and they're using those images to help them create their own wristwatch wall clock. So parents that are old enough might remember the swatch wall clock. Uh, what we're actually doing is a big wall clock sized uh, product so in the style of the swatch watches so we're researching not only um, artists but we're also searching and looking at iconic products so this was an iconic product in the late 80s early 90s and they're designing something in that style so here are obviously some examples that I found on the internet and the students were asked to find their own images as well to help them come up with their own designs. Now what you can see at the bottom, this little picture here, the, the pop art one here, that's not actually off the internet. These are computer aided design drawings. So these are CAD drawings using SketchUp. And uh, you'll be able to um, not only draw them and show them from different angles because it's a 3D drawing, but you can also animate it as well. So what I thought I'd show you is a little animation of how this works. So. As you can see, this is a 3D model, so it's shown from all different angles, and it's actually done to the correct measurements. Now, as we go along, we're going to look at how we can use this um, software, not only to present, but to also be able to help us with uh, the laser cutting and even the 3D printing. OK, so we do have a 3D printer at the school that we're still actually trying to get a better understanding of as, as we're going along so it's an opportunity for your son or daughter to get on board with this at an early stage and, and really um, see see where it can take us. Now these um, pieces of hardware like laser cutters and 3D printers are becoming increasingly popular in the industry and knowledge of this now would only benefit your child if they went into uh, design um, at college or even went on to be designers at, at uh, at a company or at a at a design firm, so these kind of skills are in the, you know absolutely um, valuable for your student for your for your child at this stage. So there's just one animation for the year ten one, and they will learn how to not only draw in three D, uh, but to do working drawings, to be able to render, and also to animate like the animation that you can see on here. So that is one thing that they will cover in year 10 in terms of the CAD building and computer aided manufacturing understanding program. OK. So other examples, year 11, they are using natural form as their inspiration. And again, what we've done is we've, we've done a bit of a mashup because we've looked at natural form and look at natural form artists. 
But then we bought a design company in. We bought a company called uh, Tata Divine that you may have heard of, and they specialise in acrylic jewellery. So acrylic jewellery is uh, very popular and it's quite expensive. Um, so the Year 11s have looked at some really nice images from artists as well as looking at um, images and creating a mood board to help them to then design their own. So uh, you can see some actual proper examples here. But again, what I've got down here, this lion that's down here is a computer aided design drawing again. And um, again, I've done a quick animation just to show you that um, they're not just drawing uh, a, an image to make it look nice. They're going to show how it can actually work. So they're going to make it as components, make it as parts, so they can actually see how the product is built up rather than just drawing a pretty picture. So if you're doing, we're doing 3D design, we're actually going to look at how we make it as well so that we get a proper understanding of, of how products are assembled and uh, are put together. So again, a very quick um, video just to finish up. Um, so um, again, this is just another video where it shows the different layers of the acrylic as well as the chain um, that goes together with it. So these presentation skills, although you know they look really nice and the software that we use uh, is a really, really good piece of software. Um, we have plenty of uh, software, this software at school, as well as this being um, a piece of software that you can access at home for free. So I, if your son or daughter is interested, then I can send a link and show you how you can access uh, the SketchUp free. Um, in the form of another small video that shows you how to get on it. Um, so in terms of preparation for next year, if this is something they were interested in, then here's a really good example of, of what it can do. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish off now by just, just thinking about or discussing with you well, 3D, where 3D design can take us. So here's just a list, uh, brand designers, 3D designers, uh, CAD CAM designer like we've just talked about, the computer games design now, that's something that's becoming really, really popular. Now, I've recently visited a, a really popular computer games company called Rare that are based in Twyford. Um, and they are uh, exclusively designing for Microsoft. And they uh, do a game called Sea of Thieves that some of you might have heard of, but some of you might not. But anyway, it's a really popular game online and it's gone so much on from just making a game now. Um, when I was there, there were workshops there where people were make, making props, props for, uh, for exhibitions, for photo shoots, for advertising and for actual adverts. They actually build some of the props and test them to see how they would work. So actually getting a proper feel for, for how, the, how the product would work if it went into the game to get a better understanding of how it might look. So there's all those skills that are needed now if you're a computer games designer so within the computer games industry there are hundreds of illustrators web designers graphic designers so all of these these things that you can see on here are all part of the computer games empire at the moment so that is something that you could think of now other things uh other designing things because you're going to get the knowledge of materials you can become um go into product design very very easily so one of the routes from here would be could or could be product design or even jewellery design going to, going to college and then possibly to university. So all those kind of designing um, futures are possible if you take 3D design as an option. So 3D design can take you down a lot of different uh, avenues and you do get the benefit of looking at, of looking at artists and art movements and getting that understanding of where some ideas come from um, as well as getting that uh, resistant materials experience, knowing how the tools work, the machines work, and, and the knowledge of the tools and the materials. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you too much. Um, but it's a really interesting course. Um, it's really exciting, and it's one of those ones where, you know, it's as exciting as you want to make it. So you can be driven by your own, what interests you, what you like, and what you what drives you on. So please consider it as an option. Um, thank you for your time and I hope to see some of you in the future.